Yo, what's up guys? It is Skeptic and welcome back to another video on the Whistle channel. And in this one, I am going to be switching inputs, going to controller, and if I do not win a game on controller in three games, I have to eat a hot pepper. Alright, let's get into it. We have our controller connected, and the only rule for this challenge is I have to play on controller and I have to get a win. Kills don't matter, but I am going to go for the highest kill game I can get and play as aggressive as possible. Let's get into this. So I usually play other games on controller, like I'm playing like Call of Duty or something, I'll play on controller. Fortnite is actually the only game I've played keyboard and mouse on. I think this is not going to be that hard of a challenge, so let's see how we do. Alright guys, so after looting a bunch of retail row, we are kind of stacked. Considering we are a controller player and we do have a blue SMG, this is going to be good looks. We're going to go over to Lazy Legs and see if we can find anybody uh, to, you know, go crazy on. There he is. Ready, guys? Oh my god. And there it is. That is our first guy. Oh my god. I know I heard some sort of footsteps. Oh my god, and there is our second kill! Around these games, I tried to navigate myself around the agency because the Tommy gun is one of the mythic guns, and they are very overpowered. On over here, and there's a guy right here. Let's see. We can beam him. We... Oh, there's another guy here. I assume one of them had the Tommy gun because, you know, we are at agency right now. Oh my god! So since there weren't many players landing around me, I decided to play a little bit more aggressive and not camp that much. Oh, uh, peace. Let's get out of here. Let's just crash the helicopter into these builds. I mean, why not, huh? And there's another guy under them. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. That guy's definitely a bot down there. What is this guy doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, there it is! Another kill! Okay, we're gonna get up here, reload our SMG, and try to... Oh my god, guys! Look at this guy's loot! What the heck just happened? So usually I use the mouse and keyboard because it's a little, it feels a, a little bit more natural to me, but the controller does have, have some advantages as well, and that's the movement and the aiming. I feel really lucky with all this loot and these kills that I'm getting right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna jump out just so we can get into the water so I don't die to fall damage with the helicopter. Oh, there's two guys, three guys here! I think I'm gonna launch pad on him. With the shark POI, they changed it up a little bit, they made it into like a prison, so it's kind of harder uh, to, you know, navigate around, and it's not really one of the places that I can drop a lot, so I'm pretty, uh, not too familiar with it. Oh my god! 220 damage to the head! So one of the benefits of being on control is it's a lot easier to aim in like closer up scenarios, so if you're in a box with somebody, it's usually easier to track someone. Oh! Alright, so we see this guy over here. We're gonna build up a little bit, and with our loot, we can literally just spam this guy. Oh my god! Oh, there he is. So we just finished the first round, uh, you know, I did pretty decent, it didn't go as, uh, as well as I expected it to at the very end, uh, but let's go to round two. With the shark, I do know a few of the chest spawns there, so that's where I usually land at is the pool. Ooh, a golden chest! And... That's the worst thing you get out of these chests, a pistol. So the advantages of having high ground at Shark and in Fortnite in general is it's way harder for them to go up to you than it is for you to go down to them, if that makes sense. Oh my god! So we're gonna wait till he's out of ammo and everything. Open this! Oh my god! So since I wanted to play a little bit more aggressive, I knew to go to the center of the map, especially where one of the mythic guns is, so that's where I thought everybody would go. And this guy is going crazy. Oh my god, he's pushing me, and he's dead! I believe he had the Tommy gun. Let's see. Oh my goodness, guys, he had the Tommy gun. So the Tommy gun is a good gun to have because it's one of the mythic guns, and it has a really high DPS. Oh my 
goodness! We don't even need a shotgun at that point! So the reason mythic guns are so sought after and everybody really wants them is just because they're like, they're really overpowered. Like, I would rather take like a Tommy gun over like a blue SMG any day. Uh, what just happened? And yeah, how am I alive, guys? I need to get health immediately before I fight this guy. I need to get health. The second game didn't go as well as I expected it to, so I had to take a little bit of a break for the night because it was getting quite late, and I uh, decided to resume the next day with a different mindset. This is our last game, so we have to make it count, guys. Well, I have an SMG, and I'm pretty confident we can kill this guy just by getting near him, and boom, it, there it is. I'm not sure what that guy was doing, but there we go. There it is, our second kill of the game. Let's go, boys. There it is. That is our third kill. Good looks, everybody. We have a pad as well, and look at our loot, man. It is so good. So I decided to hide his henchman because it's really good for, like, sneak attacking and getting behind people without them noticing. Oh, there he is right here. We're gonna do this. And there it is. Oh my god! Ooh, that is the bracket. I don't think you guys would realize how much this would help us, especially if he has a scar, which I'm not sure if he does. Oh, there he is! Alright, so we're gonna go right here, and these guys are just, you know, battling it out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Two back-to-back -back easy kills. What in the heck was that? Oh my god, he has the he has the Tommy gun. We have to kill this guy. Oh no. I'm actually nervous because what he could do is he could just pop out at me and just, you know, hit me like the other guys did. We need to reload our SMG, you know, just in case. And there it is! So the advantages of having a grappler is you can really go anywhere any single time you want. I think it's a little bit better than the launch pad. Just because in the launch pad you're flying in the air and anybody can like shoot you out of the sky whenever they want to. Uh, but the grappler, you're still on the ground, you can still build, and you can really just like scale any mountain you want. And we need to just get in this guy's box. Oh my god. Oh my god, that guy has the Brutus minigun. Oh wow. He launch padded. And we are cracking him out of the air, and this guy is very laggy. Oh my god, guys, he is lagging so hard. Now we are getting into the intense build fight. Oh my god. We took high ground on him. We're just gonna keep this out. And honestly, we don't even need to use a shotgun when you have a gun this good! There it is! And we're just gonna abuse our mythic guns on him. Once, twice. Oh my god! We just cracked that guy so hard, and we're gonna go in and hopefully secure this kill with this guy. I think the minigun person died to fall damage. I have no idea. Oh. I, I do not think that was a... Oh my god! And that is it, guys! He peaked for one second, and we did 150 damage to him that easily. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe to me and Whistle down below, and comment down below which video you want to see me do next.